Well, anyways, hey, um, thank, thanks for being here at the LA Film Festival. Um, let, let me start off th with this. Where did the original idea came from for G and T? Jeans. Well, I'll start. I'll start. Uh, I, I'll start. Yeah, because <laughs> it was your idea. It was my idea. Um, I I I had a lot of conversations with my best friend, uh, who's a rapper, Chi Malabar, and uh, we were always talking about creating something together. And um, I've made a bunch of films in the past, and um, I was kind of trying to take the funniest parts of the films I'd made in the past and um, talk to him about, you know, like maybe we should make a comedy, maybe we should make something funny, and the greatest, um, like, I, th I think, I think coming up with some characters that resembled us that went through a lot of obstacles, was just, that was, just, it was simple characters with obstacles. Um, one task, one mission, and they had to get to the day. Um, that way it would be something shootable, it was something that would be funny, um, and then from that basic spine we just started infusing parts of our life, you know, um, from childhood till you know, a, like this young adulthood to like, you know, where we are today, which still isn't very mature. And we just took like the kind of most absurd things that have happened to us and sort of cobbled it into this, this story about two um, debt collectors who have to deliver their boss's nephew um, to, uh, to get a suit for him for his engagement party. And um, sort of like a get him to the Greek situation mm -hmm. here, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that's, that, that was the seed. So you were once a debt collector, or, or you once had a relative that you had to get a suit for? I think we've owed money. Yeah. <laughs> we've dealt with that. Yeah, he's uh, encountered debt collectors, I think. <laughs> now, why were you attracted uh, to this, this um, project? Oh, man, I don't get to play roles like this. These kinds of roles aren't written for guys that look like me. And I know that guys like this uh, who look like me exist in this country, and... Uh, when you're an actor of South Asian descent, you were kind of relegated to playing certain parts. And um, to get to, pardon my language, to get to play a guy with, you know, a dick is is really, really cool for me. Um, I was really excited about that. I was really excited to see people that I've kind of grown up with. I grew up in the Bay Area, and I knew guys like this. And uh, it was just a no-brainer. I just thought it was so funny. I, I recognized these people that I hadn't seen before on screen. And um, for me, it was a no-brainer. And to get to work with Tanuj, who I've known for years. Um, yeah, I was, I was, I read the script and I think I, I called before he called me back. And I was like, I, I, I want to do this movie and I want to play Chief. Yeah, which is who we were hoping you would. Yeah, but we also sent the script out kind of open, like, well, what do you, what are you attracted to? We knew what we wanted to play, and he was drawn to the same character that we were hoping he'd play. So it was right away, um, Sunkers was the first person we brought on board. Yeah, you know? yeah, I do, I do have to remark. Hey, thank you for making a uh, a comedy that because a lot of minorities don't star in comedies. We're we're all typecasted. Right? Well, yeah, if we are in a comedy, our ethnicity plays a large part in that in that casting. Um, the joke is the ethnicity half the time, you know. A lot, if not yeah. Seventy-five to ninety. Yeah, um, yeah. It was cool to be the driving force in a comedy, to be the reason the action happens in a movie. Um, why? Yeah. Why can't you know? Why can't we get into the great game? <laughs> <laughs> now talk about the diversity. I mean, this is. Uh... Well diverse. I think there's only one white cast member. <laughs> well, well, that's see, that's funny because I, I get asked this question sometimes about like diversity in this film, and like I don't consider the film like diverse. Like we're all the film's actually is one color. It's one race. It's like all it's not one race, but it's like all brown people. Like to me, a diverse film has, um, you know, a, a hodgepodge. A, a, like a, yeah, a whole balance of Puppery. sexualities and genders, and and it's actually kind of like about brown dudes, you know. Um, but I think the way we're positioned in Hollywood and the way our, the way we're seen, we're so we're so otherized, you know that, and we're, our experience isn't centered. The moment you put something that's from a like another community, it's it's called diverse. But um, the the fun and the, but the white character is almost like the character who. Is Who's like, kind of the most cartoon -like. He's like a, yeah, he's a caricature. Yeah. Maybe like he's like probably like what you would have to be auditioning for. Yeah, 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 and hundred percent. Yeah. Except Scott did such a good job with it too. He put some other things in it, which is which Scott really humanized it, right? 
<laughs> he humanized the white guy. Yeah, he humanized the white guy. <laughs> but, but like, I was, I was like, tripped with that word, you know, diversity a little bit because this film could have starred. There's nothing culturally predetermined about this movie. It's not like about, you know, something specific to um, a religion or a, or a culture. Like, it's, it's, it could have been like three Mexican guys. It could have been three black guys. It could have been three white guys. Um, in, in this starring in this film, but it's just the way we're taught to like know what we're what we're taught to, to know as as mainstream is is unfortunately just you know we're just not taught that we're mainstream you know. But wasn't this film um, a little bit cultural? I mean, we're talking about like a arranged uh, engagement. Uh, yeah, as, but as I think that thing. happens in um, in all kinds of families. People who want to sweep um, certain things under the rug, want to get their kids married real fast, I think. Yeah, it, it wasn't like a tradi- It wasn't like, well, we're going to look at matrimonials or go on shadi.com and like, like you must have an arranged marriage by the time you're 20. It, it was, it was, it was like a familial pressure. I mean, there's no denying that it was a South Asian family and sure that plays into it and all the things that come with that play into it. But, um, it seemed to me more, more about, um, uh, a family not reckoning with itself, and that can happen anywhere, right? Yeah, I man. I think that the the nuances of of um, the cultural part of that storyline is are, are it's very subtle. It's, it's very it's very subtextual, and it's not presented in a way that is. I think most is, of those things are what we infer. Yeah. yeah, it's it's my inference, you know. Um, just because we're just because we feel like I feel like anyone could have played these characters or any race could have played these characters, it doesn't take away from the fact that I saw as a writer have to be pay homage to like something specific about what we are, you know. Um, could you talk about, um, I mean, I'm forgetting his name, uh, who played, was it Ma, Ma, Ung, Ma Ung? My Ung? Yeah, My Ung. I mean, he was, he was great. I was laughing. Everything that came out of his mouth, it, I mean, it was, it was just terrific. Oh, it's, that's Asif Ali. That's Asif Ali. That's the great that's, Asif that's Ali. Asif. He, Asif is doing very well. We're excited about the fact he's in this film because he, he's on this new show, Wrecked, that's coming out now, and he's very funny on that show. And I just feel like he's, he's entering a, a cool stage of his career where he's getting recognition. People are going to see him as like... Asif has been this funny for years, and I think he's finally getting, getting yeah. his... Yeah, he's, he's, he's walking in that path like Aziz yeah. and Cal, and I think he's just kind of stepping in and... We're lucky we got to work with him when, when he was there. And he's a character that, he took a risk to be in our film because I think the, the, the part is very challenging. There's so many things he's, he's balancing, you know, with, with his character. And at, coming from the comedy world, he, um, he really uh, had to go, you know, he really learned a lot from Sankrish and Dom, the, you know, and, and it well, was Well, he was taking it very seriously. It was really important to him um, to, to get that right to like, he didn't want to just be the fun, I mean, fu- funny he can do. Um, and he can throw out, like, he can, you know, improv a take and whatever. What was important for him was to plant the seeds of, I mean, this character is going through a lot of turmoil, and it was important for him for that, um, for, 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 for that to have a, 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 a reason and for those seeds to be planted in the proper, um, proper way. And he took that very seriously yeah. with that. Yeah, especially, you know, I appreciated his, his approach quite a bit because I think he knows he's funny, his timing is great. We, he could crack anyone up. I mean, I, it's like probably working with like Kevin Hart or like anywhere, someone who's just... Oh, he was our mascot, yeah. right? We, in those hours, like he was... But he didn't just like stand that. He wanted to go, he wanted to really push himself. So that, he, he kept telling me, he was like, the, the opportunity to work with like some Christian doll, I'm like, that's, that's the juice for me because I know I can grow with this, with this troupe. You know? Yeah. Now you mentioned there were, were, were there actually a lot of improv um, in the film or, or did we basically stuck directly with the script? Uh, no, I think Tanuj is the the kind of director that um, sort of lets you lets you fly and lets you be, you know, the the way I played this character might not have been the way most people. I mean, other people would have. Uh, it was important for me to imbue Chi with a certain kind of sweetness, whereas he could have just been the brawn and the, the you know the idiot. Um, and uh, I think Tanuj, the director, is very sensitive to to what each actor can bring and I think he pays a lot of attention I watched him pay a lot of attention during the casting process um, to get very specific energy so so once that happens I think he was um, I mean correct me if I'm wrong he like he uh, he was excited to see the way 
my energy would interact with that energy that would interact with that energy. So, so he, he let us fly a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, I, I had to make sure we got certain lines covered because this is very, like, narrative. It's a very scripted movie, but certain things had to be hit. Um, I would make sure we got all the lines we needed, but when you start seeing them do things or if they come up with a good idea, mm-hmm. like, especially the comedy, you have to be loose on set and they have to be comfortable in what they're saying and they have to be, like, native in their... The words have to be native to them and... Um, um, and, th- and there were lots of moments where it was like, okay, I don't have the right line here right now, but we'll get to that point and then give me a, Asif, give me a button, give me a button, give me a button. They're like, <laughs> you know, like we'll, we'll do like, we'll do, we'll, we'll do like 90% of the, the, the scene is scripted. But then when, and then Dom was little. really particular about, like, I remember a day in particular about like, uh, when we're trying to figure out the, uh, when I'm letting Mayim do the drug deal. And Dom is like, all right, he's letting Mayim do the drug deal. Why am I letting him let my aunt do the drug deal? And that was, I remember it was like a half an hour, 45 minute conversation, which on an indie set is very, is, I mean, you're losing, you're losing time. But um, to justify that from a character standpoint was important to all of us. And, um, you know, Dom wouldn't let it go until we found a reason why. And, and I think we see that in the movie. We see, it was needed. It was needed. Um, yeah, I think um, as a director, you know, I worked with a lot of directors that are, that are, especially writer-directors that are very specific to their, they wrote this thing and they know what they're going to film and they um, let go of opportunities that, that happen um, um, in real on time. a day yeah. in real time. And Tanuj is very, very perceptive and he knows when something is working and he knows a smart idea when he hears it or he sees it and he capitalizes. And the other thing too is like, and I don't know where we're going on on this question here, but like I, I, it's such an interesting question to me because it's, it's like these guys were, are already like, you know, they're we're they're closer to what I want that they know, half the time, you know. So what they try to adjust, the stuff they improv, the stuff they tweak, they're already in character. They're already so close. So what comes out is going to work, you know. And often, like they might feel a little, you know, is this too much? Is this too little? But they've done ninety percent. That's so on that, you know. They and they don't see that always. And I think it's my job often to to give to to let them keep it fresh for themselves, you know. Um, I don't want robots on set either, you know. Yeah, if, if we didn't have that feeling, I don't think, if we didn't feel comfortable doing that, I, I, I think, you know, as an actor, you lock up. And it bit. comes in the energy, you see the energy, like, one of my favorite things about this film is the performances, you know, it's probably what this film showcases the most, and there, there's there's an ease of interaction, I think, because of, because there's, because, you know, they're not locked into everything. They're, they're, they're allowed to sort of be present versus just keep hitting marks to say, I gotta, you know, try to hit, hit specific inflections of things, you know. <laughs> and um, why uh, S- Silicon Valley? I mean, um, are you all from, from there? I mean, it could, it, this could easily be based anywhere. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think it, I, I think when we started writing it, there might have been some specific uh, themes that come out of that area um, I think you know just like the, just like the handling of you know quote unquote diversity or cult- our culture like the, the, just even Silicon Valley itself as a backdrop as a subtle kind of thing it wasn't supposed to be like a lampoon of Silicon Valley or a critique of Silicon Valley it was just like it, it was sort of a, a, a character that kind of seeped in and um, it, 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 yeah it's because I'm I'm from there and I'm from there Sankar's so just from there and my co-writer chiefs from the Bay Area too, um, and uh, it just it, there's a way people talk in the Bay. There's a way people, um, and, and it also is, is it's not you know the funny thing is it's still it's not like it doesn't there's no there's not much conversation around technology. It, it, it's it's an old Bay Area. It's like the Bay that I grew up in is more represented than it is um, what's happening there today. Yeah, I don't think it, it's as much of it is a, is a plot point as it is a character. Yeah. In the movie, it's just uh, it it feels at least to me, at least as for someone who knows the Bay, it feels very familiar. Yeah, you know, it, and and I kind of wanted to feel like it could be like yes, yeah, a specific place, but it, it could be anywhere, you know, in in a way. Um, and um, you know, there's enough shows out there, there's enough material out there that's that goes through the, the sort of tech world and 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 kind of flies over. Um, <laughs> all of the like monstrous progress that's happening over there like that's not anything I'm interested in 
necessarily contributing. This one's about the leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. Let me start wrapping this up. Um, could you guys talk about any future projects um, you may actually have? I, I love you on Castle. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, no, uh, after that got done, um, um, I'm looking for I'm looking for work, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to say he doesn't need to look. He doesn't need to work for a couple of years. It's all right. <laughs> um, no, I mean, and I think we're... I, I don't have a... I have a few things I'm developing um, and scripts that I've written, but um, we're excited to see what happens with this. And, you know, when you watch this film, you realize there's so much potential in our community. There's so many talented actors. We had, like, last night at our screening, it was at the after party. You're looking around, like, all of Brown Hollywood is out, and you, you see so much talent in the room, and you just want to... Um, create more work for this community because um, you know we deserve it and the actors are hungry and these these I see so many I call them kids they're my own my peers but they're right they're kids and they're like they're, they're, they want it and they I see what they can deliver you know if given the chance and I, and I want I want to make I want to be one of the people making opportunities for them because um, not only is it about you know creating new work for Asian Americans in this country or just changing the perception of our community in this country. It's like, I want to give my friends, these people, great roles. You know, I, I see, I want to do more collaborations. I see, I, I see Sunker putting out some great performances if we keep making, you know, one film, the next film, like, that's how you get to great, a great performance is, is that kind of connection you have with a troupe of actors and um, keep tailoring the right characters to them, you know. So I want to keep making those things, you know. Terrific. Hey, awesome. Hey, thank you for this Thanks conversation. So much, man. Hey, thank you. Thank you for making it. <laughs> thank you.